What is going on, beautiful people? Lee Hammock, your favorite self-aware narcissist here. And today, we're going to be talking about how narcissists don't expect you to move on quick. They expect you to be sad as hell and broken after the relationship ends. If you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist. And welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. So boom, welcome back folks. Yes, contrary to popular belief, narcissists do think about you after the relationship ends. Well, that might not be contrary. A lot of people ask me that question. That's the answer to a question a lot of people ask. You know, do narcissists ever think about you when the relationship ends? Do narcissists miss you? Do they regret, do they regret what they've done? It's always a focus on what the narcissist is thinking and things of that nature. So I'm just telling you right now, that most narcissists, right, think that they are going to be the best thing that you've ever had in your damn life. I don't care how many people you've been with, I don't care what your body count is, they think that they're going to be the best that you ever had, even though they are super insecure. This is something that they're telling themselves. It doesn't mean, it doesn't make it true, y'all. It doesn't make it true because they think it. It just, they, this is something that narcissists tell themselves. We tell ourselves to make us feel better. It's, it's like putting a, put, putting a damn pacifier in our mouths, right? This is us putting a pacifier in our mouths because we want to feel better about the situation. We want to feel better about ourselves. We want to feel better about the decision that's we, that's we, that we've made. So this is why I tell people, like, if you dealt with a narcissist, they don't expect you to move on quickly. They don't, they, they, y'all, they expect you to be broken. They expect you to be just sullen and just thinking about them all the time. And this mess in this video right here is inspired by my, by one of my, uh, one of my, 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 I can't talk straight today, y'all. <sighs> Narcissistic robot resetting, slowing down, powering back up. My man, Josh, uh, inspired this video. I told him I was going to do it the other day. Um, but yeah, they don't expect you to move on, y'all. They expect you to be broken when the relationship ends. They expect, because they think that they're the best you're ever going to get, the best that you're ever going to have, not just in the bedroom, not just when you're clapping cheeks, but just in life, the best looking, the, the most money, the funniest, the most charismatic, the funnest person to be around. They think that they're the best you're ever going to get. So they think that you are going to be experiencing this loss for a long time. They're expecting that. And y'all, let me say this, because I, I just realized where this is going. I just realized what people are going to think when I make this video. I'm not encouraging you to move on fast. That's why at the beginning I said it's a lot of focus on what the narcissist thinks and not what you actually what's actually going on. You don't have to move on fast. Nobody cares what the narcissist thinks when you get out of a relationship. Let's, let's, just, let's, just, let's just put it out, out there. We don't care. You don't care what the narcissist is thinking. Yeah, they might actually be, the truth is, they might actually be the best that you've had. It doesn't mean that it's the, they're the best you're going to get. That isn't your last relationship, although it might make you afraid of dating again for a while. Although it, make, make, it might make you a little apprehensive about getting back out there. Yeah, that could be true as well, right? That could absolutely be true. It could make you more like, man, I don't want, I, the, day, the dating pool is a swamp and I am not swamp thing, right? It can make you not want to get back out there. It can make you want to just sit in the house and chill and be to yourself. And that's fine, y'all. That's when you know you're ready again. How do I know, Lee, 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 help me. How do I know when I'm ready to date again? When you are okay with being by yourself. When you are fine being by yourself, doing things by yourself. When you are okay, when you are okie dokely okay with just chilling and doing and being just fun by yourself, to yourself, with yourself, that's when you know that you are moving in the right direction. Because that self love is so needed. That self love is so required. That self love is exactly what you need to have going on. Self love is the best love. It's the most inspiring love. It's the most powerful love. You need it. You need it. When you are okay with being by yourself, that's when you can just think, okay, maybe I am ready to move on. Maybe 
maybe it's time. You know, maybe it's time for us to go ahead and move on. Maybe it's time when you trust yourself, when you're okay with being by yourself, that's when you know you're ready. But narcissists, they don't, look, narcissists move on fast. Let's just say most of them will. Not all of them will move on fast. Some of them will be by themselves. Some of them will just lose their damn minds and go crazy on their own. But there's a lot of narcissists out there that will move on quickly because they want you to feel the pain of like, hey, look, look how fast I replaced you. Look, I replaced you so fast which shows you, which should show you that how worthless you are. I replaced you so fast, which should make you feel bad about, you should feel bad about yourself with how fast I replaced you. But that's just shows you this little, y'all see how, you see what I just said right there? There's a wee bit of projection going on there, on there, isn't it? Because they think that you should feel bad because they moved on fast. Because they would feel bad if you moved on fast. They would feel bad if they see you out and about and you're happy. They would, of course, you know, they would make them feel bad. But narcissists try to pacify themselves. We are always trying to put a pacifier in our mouths in some way, shape, or form. And what I mean by trying to pacify ourselves, I mean we're going to tell ourselves, even if you see, if we see you out happy and single. By yourself, smiling, having the time of your life. Even if we see you out there, we're going to we're going to conjure up that you're not happy, that you're faking it. You're faking it till you make it. You really miss me, and you're just faking that you're happy to just try to get over me, right? You're faking that you're happy to just try to get back out there, right? You're faking that you're happy, but you're really broken down about me because I can't take the fact that you are happy without me. I can't take the fact that you can move on so quickly that other people will want you. That you're going to be like somebody else is going to get you. I can't take that. So I have to pacify myself by lying to myself. Narcissists lie to themselves all the time. Y'all think you, you think you're the only person that narcissists lie to? Hell no. They absolutely lie to themselves. I talk, I lie to myself all the time. I hype myself up. You're the best, you're the best, you're the best. I might not be the best. It becomes, look, y'all, it becomes like this weird type of mantra that a lot of narcissists have that just put you put it in a different direction for you right there narcissistic people are extremely self-serving manipulative horrible people a lot of times that are out to get you and they try to leave you broken that's what, like when they if they discard if they viciously discard you they are trying to leave you broken they want to leave you broken right they want to leave you so broken so hurt so just a horrible feeling and whatnot, right? They want to leave you broken. So they don't think, so you won't move on fast because even if they move on fast, they're going to be thinking about you moving on fast and that's going to hurt their little wee ego, the little baby ego, the little baby ego, the little baby ego. You can rock the bed. It's going to hurt their ego. So they don't want you moving on fast. Why the hell would I want you moving on fast when it's going to affect me in a negative way? So I have to tell myself, I have to convince myself, you know what I mean? that I'm the best you're going to get, that you've not moved on. You can't move on quickly. Nobody else is going to want you. I, I need to convince you of that. So if I'm trying to break you down at the end of the relationship, I'm going to try to convince you that nobody else is going to want you. Nobody else is going to want you. You know, the little, the little engine that could, I mean, y'all hear that y'all, I don't know what age y'all are. I'm, I'm aging myself. I'm about to be 39. And y'all, I'm about to be 39 in a month. Oh my God. <sighs> My last year, my 30s, what the hell? Oh my goodness. Y'all about to see a narcissistic collapse on camera. <laughs> I'm about to collapse. No, nah! no, I'm joking. But I'm about to be 39 for real. But that's where it goes though, y'all. Like they, I, I can't take it. So I have to put you down. That's why you, you when y'all, or when the narcissist is breaking up with you and leaving you at the end of a relationship, that's why they say horrible, mean, evil stuff to you. Because they want to they want to try to guarantee to themselves that nobody else is going to want you for at least a little while. So I can at least move on for real. I can at least hop into this new relationship and feel better about myself. So I can at least do that, right? That's the way it goes. So that's what I'm trying to convince y'all that a lot of toxic, narcissistic people are out here trying to do damage to you are out here trying to hurt you are out here trying to harm you that's what they want to do that's what they're trying to do that's what they're going to do so you got to watch out for toxic narcissistic people this is the mindset that a lot of them have they want to leave you broken because they don't expect you to move on fast because that will destroy them now i tell you to move on fast when i say so yeah 
let, let, let me flip it up. I am telling you to move on fast. I'm telling you to move on fast and fall in love with yourself. I'm not telling you to go out here and move on to try to, you know, the quickest way to get over someone is to get under, uh, underneath someone else or behind someone else. No. The quickest way to get over someone is to love yourself more and just like, that person didn't deserve me. I remember being broken and torn down and just ripped to shreds by my, my toxic ex, which is why I have a lot of experience dealing with narcissistic toxic people. Um, when, I, the, the, when I finally got with my toxic ex, I realized that she didn't deserve me. It took a while to get to that point. It took a lot of self-love. It took a lot of self inner, inner work. It took a lot of compassion, it took a lot of therapy. But you get to that point where you realize that they don't deserve you, no matter what they're doing, no matter who they're with, no matter how they're living their life, they didn't deserve you. You are one of one. Nobody else is out there like you. Even if you're an identical twin or identical triplet, nobody else is like you. There's no one like you. They didn't deserve you. You are winning. Let's keep winning together, y'all. And let's, when I say keep winning, let's keep winning together. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out my support groups, my mental illness support groups. Check out, you can pre-order. Oh, damn it. There you go. You can pre-order my new shirt, the uh, mon- the, uh, the self-love montage shirt. Y'all see this, the sayings on it? <coughs> Strong. Just check it out. Shop.mentalillness.net, y'all. And I will see y'all later. <laughs> my voice. <laughs> Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. I am extremely grateful for you have no idea. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Helps reach more people and click on the screen to watch another video or to browse through another playlist. There's also a link on the screen to check out my courses and my support groups to help you heal and understand what you've been through. Thank you so much again. I will see you in the next video. Peace.